Well, on Memorial Day yesterday, Floridians paused to honor our fallen service members. But a few days earlier, an elementary school in Tampa paid tribute to a Marine who gave his life for our country 20 years ago. Matthew Apthorpe with our script station WFTS in Tampa followed the months long project and shows us right now how students and staff came together to rededicate a warrior garden in that Marine's name. OK, y'all, let's start with the clean slate. These are going to be beautiful. We are at West Shore Elementary, Wildcat Warrior rock painting party. Now you get to go over here and pick the rock that you want to paint. I did like a darkish blend. Joseph Foley, school resource officer here at West Shore Elementary. That is awesome, man. I hope you don't take this paint for granted, guys. This is real fun. These rocks are going in a memorial garden. Dedicated to a student. His mother actually taught here. He has a stone outside, and we're making that garden beautiful to represent our military personnel. Now. He served during 9-11 and unfortunately gave the ultimate sacrifice, so... You guys are going to decorate the memorial garden and make it beautiful. They're going to go all over that garden and honor his memory, create more of a legacy for everybody that comes here. It didn't sit right with me that there was a beautiful memorial there already and that nobody knew about his sacrifice. I felt like we could have drew some more attention to it. Many hands make light work. We still have a little bit of more leaves right here before they start throwing mulch over it. Once we finish with that little bit of leaves, we can start putting mulch everywhere. Mulch, 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 mulch. I don't do yard work a lot. This was Officer Foley, Miss Quinn, and the Marines. 31, 32, 33, 34. We need one more. My name's Taylor Fernandez. I'm the school counselor here at West Shore. We are out here with some volunteer Marines working on our warrior garden. We have them coming in as a bulk of the labor. I'm a powerful presence cleaning up the memorial for Lance Corporal Andy Aviles in support of everything he did in Iraq. Purge a lot of the debris in there, gut a lot of the dead wood, pruning, a lot of work. Something for future generations where they can say, we were a part of this great school that continues our legacy in honoring military family members. On April 7, 2003, Lance Corporal of the U.S. lost his life while preserving freedom for millions in Operation Iraqi Freedom. Even though he didn't expect to be activated so suddenly, he was ready and willing to contribute however he could. We will always be indebted to you and your family for Andy's service. He would be like, I can't believe this happened. <laughs> <laughs> he was a good kid. He was funny. And then again, he probably be looking down and saying, I, I knew I would leave my mark somehow. Yeah. <laughs> now let's welcome our Wildcat Warriors to lay down rocks in this garden dedicated to Man's Corporal Amos. We just want to thank anybody and everyone who had a hand to our son's memorial. It's really appreciated by the family. And it lets us know that there's some people that still think about him and still love him and will remember him for a while.